we have seen that we can collect a lot of data from learning environments, classroom, online, tele environments and also from other resources like eye gaze data, facial expressions. So, we have seen that in last three classes, but to measure, collect and analyze the learners data, we should have got a permission from the learners. If you remember the definition of learning analytics, it says that measure, collect, analyze and report. So, in order to measure, collect and analyze the data, you should have a permission from the learners. Also to report the data, it should be varied based on whom you are reporting. If you are reporting the research data to a teacher, you can explain what's happened to the class and what student is going through and you can even tell which student name and student ID is possible. But if you want to report the data to public, what kind of data you should import? In this activity, consider you have a lot of data collected from different resources. And in the last class, you have seen what kind of analysis can be performed on this data like diagnostic, descriptive analytics or predictive analytics. Consider you are a researcher, what are the primary step you will take to protect ethics and data privacy? You decided to run a study, you decided to collect data and you also have what analytics to be performed on the data. Before collecting the study, what steps you will take to protect the learners data privacy also to follow the ethics? Write down your answer, you can pause this video and resume the video after you complete writing the answer. Ethics and data privacy is the important topic in any data collection method. In general, data privacy and ethics primarily includes these four topics that is you should obtain the consent form from the participant. If you are collecting data from a learner, you need to get the consent that they are ready to give the data, share the data with you. Also if the participant is minor that is below 18 year old, you should get the consent form from the parents. When you report the data, you have to anonymize the data, you have to hide out what is the username, user information or the IP address, you have to anonymize these data. This is very important when you report this data to a public. Also, you have to classify the data such as which can data can be anonymized, which data cannot be anonymized. When I said anonymized, you might be wondering for facial expressions, you are collecting their um, facial expressions using web camera that is a video. How can you anonymize the face? If you anonymize the face, you can't collect any information from that. So, you have to classify the data such that this set of data can be anonymized, this set cannot be anonymized. After certain period of time, the data should be destructed or removed or deleted. Also, it talks about storage where you like to store the data or you like to store the data in the cloud or in a, in a physical hard drive, in a laptop or is the data secured, is data is not accessible to anyone who is not allowed to see the data. The storage of data is so important. You cannot carry this data simply without any protection. In learning analytics, we collect and analyze learners data to develop a model. So, the purpose of collecting data is to develop a model, so that we can help the student to achieve success in the environment they are working in. If it is a tell environment, we collect the students information such as their problem solving behavior, the time they spend on watching videos, all this information, then we create a model, so that we can provide a correct hint or feedback to the learner to help them achieve their task. However, the learner should have a knowledge on what data is collected. It's, it is not that asking the learner, hey, you would like to collect your data. No, it is not that, it is more than that. We need to ask student, hey, if you want to collect your behavior data, your click stream data or your eye tracking data, your facial expressions, your videos recorded, your audio, your voice is recorded, everything should be 
informed to the learner. So, learner should have knowledge of what data is collected and should give a consent to it. Second, the learner can opt out of the analysis. In doing the study, the learner do not want to that, that data to be collected, they can say I want to opt out of the study and immediately you have to delete erase all the data you collected about the learner. And the method or algorithm you develop to predict the learner outcome should be reviewed by the human all the learner it's himself or herself and corrected if needed. And most importantly our predicted model should not hinder the students progress. The predicted model should not say that hey, you are not able to learn the skill whereas, the student might be learning the skill and when he sees the motivation the feedback which says you are not learning the skill the student's motivation might go down. So, the predicted model should not hinder the student's progress. We have to remember these ethics and privacy in data collection before we collect the data in any environment. What are the learners rights on their data in learning analytics? We saw that learners data sh learners should be informed what data to be collected, but what are their rights learners rights on their data in learning analytics? Please pause the video and write down your answer. After completing this activity resume the video to continue. The learner have a right to opt out of the process any time during the study and they can ask you to erase the data completely that is during the study. And also they should have access to their data if they want I want to look at my eye tracking data I want to look at my behavior data they should have access to their data. Most importantly learners should be allowed to be part of our algorithm. For example, if you give the feedback you should not force the feedback on the learner. Learner should have a choice to accept or reject the feedback. The feedback you generated is based on what your model predicted about learner. It is not correct. You have to give the learners a chance to accept or reject the feedback or any adaptation you are providing. So, you might ask where does this ethics clearance or ethics concern from how it is created, how should be created. In a universities or colleges they have the ethics committee. So, you have to approach your ethics committee. If not one you have to create ethics committee in a university or college and you have to get the permission from them and you have to follow the standard procedure to get the consent form. In industry each industry in education sector should have their own ethics committee and data privacy committee. 